Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. One of the great things about coming to a tractor show is you almost always see something you've never seen before. And Jim Young from Marengo, Ohio, you brought a tractor that's got some unique features to it. Tell us a little bit about your tractor. Well, it's got the uh, lugs that retract down into tractor so you can run it on the road or you can take it to field and use it as a plow or a disc tractor, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's mainly to run on the highway. Uh, that's that's about, about, about all I can say. I know very little about the tractor whatsoever. Now, you're a big-time Alice Chalmers collector, is that right? That is correct, yes. Our family owns several. Uh, yeah, more than several, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say about 180-some tractors total all, all together through the whole family. Uh, uh, my cousins and great cousins and whatever. So we've got several combines. We've got the moment. We've got all kinds of Alice Chalmers equipment. Yeah, that definition of several is pretty broad for you. But uh, tell us a little bit about this one. You said with all the Alice Chalmers tractors you've seen, you haven't seen one like this before. That is correct. We've been all over, out in Kansas. We've been out in uh, Missouri, up Michigan, and Pennsylvania, all over the country. And this is the first one we've ever seen like this. And this is a uh, what year and what model? It is a 1931 IU. It's an industrial uh, U tractor. What did you like about the U tractors that Alice Chalmers built back in the day? Uh, the, like the bulkiness of them, and, and just the, I just love the way they look. You know, uh, uh, they're just they're just an, a unique looking tractor to me. So, uh, a lot of crude power, isn't it? Yes, and it's amazing how they built them back in 31 like they do. You know, uh, they didn't have all this technology to machine stuff or you know what I mean. It's just something that's just unique. And the showstopper on this IU, the industrial U, really is these wheels. Talk just a little bit about how different they really are. The springs hold the, the cleats down in when you're going down the road and then they hold them in place or whenever you take them and retract them and put them back up and down. So. And so why did you uh, want to make this one part of your collection? Oh, uh, we have never seen one before. Uh, we've been all over, like I say, the country and it's just, uh, and the price was right. <laughs> I'll put it that way when I bought it. So. And this one you found at an auction? Yes, I found an auction. It was the Steve Kidwell auction in Martinburg, Ohio which is probably about 45 miles from where I live at. And you went there not thinking you were going to take this home? No, I was there to buy a front-end weight for a G, and I ended up with this 1931U. And you're pretty happy about it? Oh, I'm tickled to death. Even my wife is happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jim, tell us just a little bit about how these lugs work, how these weights go in and out on these wheels. Well, you pull these up like this, and they're six-sided. You can turn them any the different direction that you want to. You can put them like, like that, or you can turn them to make it straight, or, uh, you know, it's just something that's, uh, however you want to do it, I presume most of the time the farmers put them at an angle like this, so they would work better in the field. Uh, that's about all I can tell you about them. And they, they got a big spring down at the bottom to hold them in place uh, while you're going down the road or uh, while you're in the field. Yeah, there's some weight there though, right? And the yeah. counterweight of the spring. Yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I need to have a longer handle on my thing here because with my age, I'm getting too weak to uh, pull them in and out. <laughs> so I guess you call it the gray hair syndrome or whatever you want to call it. So it's just... Uh, uh, and this tool, it's not the original tool, uh, it's something we had made up to do this, and I do not know what the original tool even looks like. Yeah, you don't really need to go to the gym to pump iron, you can just change the lugs on the tire. That is correct. <laughs> I tell everybody my wife does a better job because she's younger than I am. <laughs> that's a unique quick thing about it is that's what they can do. They can run it on the highway or they can use it in the field. It's just very unique. Um, I don't know who, who had anything to do, do with this. I don't know whether it was something from Alice Chalmer or whether it was something from, um, the wheel says United on them. I don't know whether it was from United or I, I, I have no idea what it is. And those wheels have got to be heavy though, huh? Yes, they're solid steel. I would assume they're probably about four inches thick or better. 
and then there's the hard rubber on there, and and I don't know any place where you could ever get anything done to it whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. I've even looked in Steiner's for parts for it, and Steiner's has nothing on an IU Alice Chapel. Yeah, know. that dealer warranty ran out a while ago. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> So Jim, tell me a little bit about how it is to drive this tractor. Well, it's a pleasure to drive it. I enjoy driving it. Uh, actually, the, the transmission it actually is a four-speed transmission, but when it's on solid rubber, they took fourth gear out to make it a three-speed. If it had rubber tires on it, it would be a four-speed transmission. Um, but it's really nice to drive. It steers like a log wagon, <laughs> or either that or I'm just lost my strength. I don't know which, but it's it's just a unique tractor to drive. You don't want to have to make a sharp turn. No, no, uh, uh, not, no, not no. It's just really it's just it's just heavy tractor. I don't know what it weighs. I wish I did. Uh, the guy I bought it from said it weighs maybe 200 pounds, but I think that's way um, too heavy for it. I don't think it weighs quite that much, but. I don't know. I haven't ever weighed it. And according to the information at the auction, they didn't make too many like this, did they? No, according to the auctioneer and the owner, he claimed they only made 40 of them. I don't know how true that is. It was his story. He was selling, and that's all I can say. But the fact that you really don't see them says something. Yes, uh, since we haven't ever seen one, I would say his story is probably pretty much true. And how's the ride on these rubber tires when you get going on a, a little bit of a road? Well, it's it's not like a Cadillac, I'll tell you that much right now. It's just like a, uh, it's just a rough ride. And top speed is maybe only about five miles an hour? Yes, five mile an hour is top speed in third gear. Uh, if, the, if you could get the fourth gear to work, it would be a little higher. And they claim that all you got to do is put a shifting fork in the transmission to make the fourth gear. Uh, according to the book I read, that a lot of farmers found that out and did that. Uh, but uh, I don't know whether I'll do that or not. I just think I'll just leave it like it is. So do you have fun bringing something like this to a gathering of the orange? Yes. Uh, I've had, oh, I don't know how many people uh, wanting to see how it, the demonstration, how the, the cleats work and in and out and talking about the tractor. And I just wish I knew more about the tractor so I could tell people more about it. But I have very little information on it whatsoever. <laughs> All right, Jim Young from Ohio with a very rare Alice Chalmers, one like you maybe have never seen before, the 1931 model IU.